question I'm often asked is how I go about assessing a Burman kitten to decide if it is show quality or not. All breeds are bred to a written standard which is basically identical regardless of which registry you use or which country you live in. Now I have briefly touched on this subject in previous vlogs but this time I'm going to give you a more in-depth guide taking you from nose tip to tail tip to show you what I'm looking for when assessing a Burman kitten. So when you're judging the head of a Burman, you want to look at it from in front and it needs to be nice and broad, good width between those ears, which should be slightly tipped, um, not too big, not certainly not so easy, and um, they shouldn't be really up on the head and very tall. You want to see good, full, che rounded cheeks, uh, which come into a good, strong, firm muzzle, not a pinched muzzle. When you're looking at the profile of the kitten, you're looking from the area from the front of the ear right the way down to under the chin here. The forehead should not be too domed, as it would be in a Persian. It should have a slightly flattened area here, just in front of where the ears are. Then that comes down to where the, the bridge of the nose is, and there is a slight dip there. Um, some uh, registries call this a change of direction, and others call it just a dip in the profile, as the uh, forehead sort of changes into the bridge of the nose. Then you are looking at this line here, from the chin up to the uh, point under the nose there, and that should be a perpendicular line. Uh, that's what you want to see there, nice perpendicular line. And the chin should be full and it shouldn't be receding, so uh, sort of thin and coming backwards. And the other thing you want to check on the kitten is that the teeth and the jaw are straight and it's not overshot or undershot or have a twisted jaw because those are undesirable. Now with a Berman's eye you want it to be almost round with a slightly flattened top. The colour will be blue because these are colour point breed and really the deeper the blue you can get that colour the better. So with this little girl she's got all her paws are, all her toes sorry, are covered and the white does not go past the bend of her paw so when she stands with her paw bent the white doesn't come beyond that point up her leg on either of these legs and underneath where she's got that little stopper pad there you can just see it the white that goes nowhere near it so that's ideal and on this side whoops again the white is nowhere near that stopper pad and as you can see with this one she's got virtually no white on her fronts at all so this would definitely not be allowed for showing so as you can see here the white does not cover the full paw it should cover the entire paw to the point where it bends here and uh, ideally it, it could go just slightly above that bend to make a sort of little sock um, so these really are far too low for back feet markings you can see she she does have two little gauntlets there but they are absolutely microscopic so these would be no good for showing at all and this little kitten's gauntlets are really very nice they both come up very even in length they come up to a nice point just below the hock, so these are a good pair of gauntlets. And as you can see, she also has fully covered little toes there. Her paw is fully covered with white, which is what you want to see. It needs to be a good length, so you usually bring it up and it should reach the shoulder. 
and also it must have no kinks at all along its line. So what you do is you use three thick fingers, sort of like this, together. You start at the base of the tail and you run all the way down and you should not be able to feel any kinks, it should be a nice straight tail.